once not so long ago Colonel Casey the kindly old stork swooped down into the cabbage patch with a mysterious bundle the kids gathered round staring in amazement as two of the cuddliest creatures they'd ever seen peered out of the bundle Colonel Casey explained how he found them frightened and shivering down in Wakusa Valley during the big flood and how he had to hurry back to help save the others. Now, they'd all heard tales of creatures in those parts who were supposed to bring good fortune. In fact, there was even a little rhyme about them. Kusas are not born and bred to be all brown, black, and red. They found a better way to go, a very special, loving breed. They become a friend to all in need. The kids gathered up their shivering charges and took them to Babyland General to be cared for. And as more and more arrived, they set out about a plan to find a special friend, perhaps like you, to share the Kusa's love. Hi guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about my Kusa collection. So, um, if you don't know what Kusas are, they were created by Xavier Roberts, manufactured by Coleco in 1985 as a toy line to go along with Cabbage Patch Kids. Kusas were more typically marketed towards boys um, because they were animals and not like babies. And I think that is what they were trying to do but anyway they're super cute for everyone um and there are three different head molds this little cutie here is a cat head mold you can tell because she has these two little plastic pieces on the side and her eyes are kind of slightly tilted upwards um her nose is a little scuffed she's TLC she was in an attic for a pretty long time um, she's wearing this little rainbow suspenders and it has the draft motif. These um, suspenders actually come in three different colors. There's this yellow, there's a dark blue, and there's a lighter blue. And then there's also three different animals. I think the draft is pretty common as well as the elephant. And then the uncommon little animal is the duck. So if you see the duck, scoop it up. Um, so yeah, here's my cat. Um, I think we are going to name them as we go along because none of my Kusas have names, so I think that will be really fun to do. So I know that she's wearing these rainbow suspenders, but I actually do feel like she's a girl. So I think we should give her a girl name. I want to do all food names for these guys. So, hmm, I think I want to name her Puddin. I think Puddin is a really cute name for her and it's like super sweet. So guys, meet Puddin, the only cat in my Kusa collection. Um, and now we're going to go on to the lions. I do have two lions who are identical. They're twinsies. So they are the kind of white yellow color. This one's name is already Sunshine. So we're gonna leave his name as Sunshine, but his sister needs a name. I was thinking we can name her Banana. So, cause we have Puddin over there and then we can have Sunshine. I feel like we should maybe call him Sunny D. So he's kind of like the drink. So we have Sunny D and we will have Banana. Hmm. Or should we come up with something? Oh, oh, maybe we can name this one Sunny D and then her name can be Milkshake. Oh, so Milkshake and Sunny D. And those are two of my lions. I'm going to show you the face mold compared to the cat face mold. The lions typically have a mane instead of just a little tuft, but I think there might be, 
yeah they always have this the cats always have the little tuff and then the dogs have the mane and the tuff so they have both but yeah so typically kusas come with like this little collar and then you could send in and get their name um, most of the time they're not on them anymore but i think that would be really cute if we could still do that xavier roberts name is also on the clothing items and then they have a tail usually there's a hole in the back their clothing is really simple and it's usually just one piece um and they come in a variety of colors which you'll see my cat was brown these guys are the kind of banana -y cream color and they have the white mane so let's go on to some more lions that are in my collection we have i think i have one more lion it's him so this is the final line in my collection he's wearing the blue suspender outfit he has the elephant and here's where it says he's a cabbage patch kusa and here's his little xavier roberts patch oh he is striped with orange and white he's really cute we have to think of a name for him hmm We have Sunny D, we have Milkshake, and we have Puddin. So what should this guy be? I want him to be a boy, Pumpkin. I think we're gonna name him Pumpkin. And then we can go on to my dogs. My dogs are my largest part of my collection. Let's start with one of my favorites. So this is my peach dog. Um, I love this color. It's one of my favorites. My second favorite is the brown. That's a really fuzzy one. They have usually have a white face, but I actually don't have any of those in my collection, but I will show you one. I would love to add that to my collection next, but here's my peachy dog and her hair is like so soft. A lot of their hairs are different collection. A lot of their manes are different textures. Um, like you can tell that his is much like thicker and hers is like thinner. So I think that's kind of interesting, kind of like how the Cabbage Patch have like different variety of like um, hair and eyes and like body shape depending on factory. I feel like the Kusas are kind of similar. Oh, let me show you. This is one of the clothing options. This is the little terry cloth shirt and this is a peach one to match our little peachy. This one's name is going to be Peaches and here's the bear that's on it and next we have this little doggy who is just solid white and it has the white shirt with the bear he does have his collar but it doesn't have a name on it so our last one was peaches can this one be uh, i don't think cream is a good name for a dog um maybe we can name this one hmm let's see Let's name this one Chocolate Chip because his nose kind of looks like a chocolate chip. He kind of reminds me of chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. So we're going to name this guy Chip, um, short for a chocolate chip. And then let's go on to him. Guys, his name has to be Brownie, but I love his shirt. He has the cat, and this is like a fuzzier tailor cloth. You can see the signature on the back. He has this dark mane and these dawning blue eyes he's so gorgeous i love him oh his fur is different too so his fur is like not as soft and not as fuzzy it's just kind of like a fleece so i thought i'd point that out and then another one that i have who's similar to that one is my eye patch kusa my boyfriend actually won him in an online auction for me um he's so cute he is the eye patch kusa I was saying that I wanted to name him Brownie, so I'm going to name him Fudge, so it's going to be Fudge Brownie, so cute because they look like they could be brothers, right? But so the iPad Cruises are a little more difficult to find, but 
um, there are four different ones that have the eye patch. So two with it on this side and then two with it on this side. Um, people say that I think this side, which is the right side, is boys and then if it's on the other side, the patch is on the other side, it's a girl. Um, I do have more, I feel like boy cases in my collection. I don't have a lot of dresses, but there are so many cute dresses you can get for cases. There's like some like flannel or like gingham print, which is super cute. Um, my favorite one is definitely the pastel heart one. And then the next little puppy we have in my collection is this guy. He has the tuff that is white around the edges and then brown in the center. He does have the orange and white stripe. Um, his clothing is made of like a felt, felt? That's the word I've been looking for. Um, but it just has like Cabbage Patch Cousas right here on the front and then Xavier Roberts on the back. I think it's kind of interesting because the other ones were in blue and they said 85, but his is actually in brown or black, like the very first line of cabbage. So I wonder if that's something, like if he was like, or at least this outfit was one of the first ones, but he's so cute. And then my final puppy, oh, we didn't name this guy. Let me think. I think I want to name him Cinnamon. So meet Cinnamon everyone. And then my final one is a custom. Here she is. She is so lovely. Um, she is pink. I dyed her body pink and her hair pink. I gave her a purple eye patch and then a purple nose and a couple of spots on her ears. Um, I restuffed her. She doesn't have an outfit, but I saw an outfit that I really like on um, the build a bear website that they just released and it's like a um little one piece outfit i'm gonna show you here it looks very 80s um or maybe 90s but i think it'll be perfect for her and it has the tail it has the hole so you can put the tail through so hopefully build a bear clothes fit them i've never tried it but i think it would be a good idea so i'm gonna gather them all in my hands now so you can see my whole collection but first, I want to talk about a couple more um, Kusa related items that you can get your hands on. So, there is a Kusa bed, which is super cute. I have seen tons of them in box. I actually think the Kusa's boxes look really cute, um, but I don't have any in box. I would love to have an in box Kusa, actually. Um, but then they also have a tricycle, which is super cute. Um, there are the miniature Kusas who have the soft body and the hard face just like these guys, but they are tiny. Um, I find that they're more expensive than these ones in the regular size, um, but they're so cute. And then they have the PVC figures just like the Cabbage Patch ones that are kind of movable, um, and they're also super adorable, but you don't see them as often as you see the Cabbage Patch ones. So, um... Let me think if there's anything else I didn't mention. Mm, I think I covered everything. Now let's gather everyone together. Do you think we can fit? Do you think we can fit everyone in our arms? Maybe over here. Uh, I'm starting to question this. Um, Two more? No, three more. Okay. <laughs> Here is everybody. Here is my entire Kusa collection. Um, this is a lot of Kusas. Um, I actually don't know how many I have. But anyway, let me know below if you would have named them anything different than the names I gave them I'm definitely gonna have to use this video as a reference video when I make their like name bracelets or put their name on their collar if they have a collar um so if you come up with a better name in the comment food related names then I might switch up their names um she's so cute um what else was I going to say 
Okay, so one final thing before I go is that I want to say that I filmed this video three times, maybe four times, and every time that I went to film it, I felt very, I don't know, like, not into it, even though I really love Kusas, and it felt very uptight, kind of. I was taking it too seriously. I've had a pretty stressful day, so, like, you know how it is if you have two small children. Um, so, what I had to do was I had to go into my bathroom, put on my silly cat makeup, and remind myself that I'm doing this for fun. It is fun. I want to share my passion for toys with everyone else. I want to learn about vintage toys. I want to make funny videos. I want to take cute pictures. I want to explore. I want it to be whimsical. So guys, stay whimsical. Live your most whimsical life because this is the only one we have. Let's not take it too seriously. See you in the next one. Bye guys.